Welcome to the world of water treatment jargon, water softening systems, water filtration systems, and you please be ready to spend thousands of dollars for the crappy thing that doesn't even exist in your home water supply. Not anymore, as we are here to explain the key differences between a water softener and water filter so that you can figure out what you need for your home. So without any further ado, let's get started. First up, water softeners. Have you ever noticed ugly white deposits on your beautiful kitchen faucets? Dishes turn cloudy, soaps not leather. Then congratulations, you are among the 85% of US population that experience hard water. All thanks to calcium and magnesium your water is now damaging appliances and making everyday household work a nightmare. We've discussed this in our earlier video, so check that out for more details. Here's where water softeners kicks in. They use a process known as ion exchange to replace hard water ions into sodium ions. Here's how the process looks like. Hard water enters into a mineral tank containing negatively charged sodium ions. They attract positively charged calcium and magnesium ions and remove them from water. In the process, they release sodium ions. The output is softened perfect for household chores. Now, water softeners can damage plants and fish which is why it's banned in California and Arizona. Therefore, we also have water conditioners that alter water hardness to reduce scaling in pipes by using template-assisted crystallization. Now, here's the catch. Water softeners do not clean water from impurities, iron, chlorine, bacteria and all that nasty stuff. Here's where water filters come in. Water filters use different techniques like reverse osmosis, carbon filtration and sediment filters to remove sediment, harmful microbes, heavy metals like arsenic, iron and other contaminants from water. So even if you've water softeners but have metallic water taste, you'll need a water filter. Okay, so what should I do? Which is better for me, water softener or water filter? First, conduct a water test. It's all the important if you're on well water as EPA doesn't regulate well water supply. You can use water testing kits like from TAPSCORE or from a state certified lab. Get the results to know what exactly is there in your water. Only water hardness. If you've low to medium water hardness, go for water conditioners or else water softeners. Contaminants present. See the exact impurities you need to remove and choose water filter accordingly. Check for NSF certifications to see if your chosen water filter can actually remove the bad stuff you have in your water. It's better to choose point-of-use water filters if your problem is specific to kitchen sink or shower, but in case of contaminated well water, whole house point-of-entry filters are the only option. Both water hardness and contaminants. Then go for softener plus filter combo. We'll recommend spring well softeners. They are proven to remove harmful contaminants and soften water the best way possible. Check pricing links in description. And as always, like and share this video if you found it useful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!